That's what I was they took the Satan Obama figure out. That's why. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think on Monday morning, uh, the the uh, director's going to be on Good Morning America like, gotcha, because the whole opening weekend is probably huge for him. It's oh, probably yeah. It's big. That's fine. Especially with Christians. Do that. He could do Especially that. Especially with Christians. Wow. All right. Um, Copy section. Of course, I said the Christian Gray School of Roses. Um, Julian, the season, the session, uh, hosted by DJ Wado, um, free download, Capital Kings Remix, and Ryan's People, Erica Campbell from Mary Mary. Oh, help album is in store. I saw their, I saw their <laughs> promo or something or another. Yeah. So right. that's it for me. Shout out to uh, Wild Bill the Khalifa on Twitter, man. He sent us a question. He said, is mainstream CHH music up there with mainstream trap music? Or is CHH still behind in sound or crunkness? Trap music specifically, does it match? Mm-hmm. I would say, yeah. I mean, what, what, what I played... You think Thizzle himself or no, anybody else? Thizzle, I mean, the song I played earlier. Yeah. Reco- um, Recounsel. It's, it's up there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We got... Producers up there that can make good music, you know what I mean. So it's just about finding the artist. That's the number one thing. Finding the artist, and then once you find them, because I, I feel like you know it's up there. And that's my opinion. Okay. All right. Let's get back into it. You in the field with the track stars Ryan Righteous, Shantana, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. King without a crown. A king without a crown. King without a crown. A king without. A crown. I love my city, my city. Got a heart like pop for the block, but your boy big and black like Biggie, like Biggie. Got the dope boys with me, got the dope boys with me. So the popo see me, see me, and they gotta pull me over 'cause they think I'm riding around with the fofo with me. I'm good for the glory, I'm good for the glory, I'm good for, for the king. And I'll bang for the hood, but I do it for the streets. I do it, and I do it for my mama. I do it, all the nights she sleep, and I do it for my kids, 'cause my kids gotta eat. Granny in the kitchen, granny in the kitchen, ripping them turn ups, turn ups. She told me God got me, got me. I told her I turn up, turn up. Over beats I turn up, turn up. In the streets I turn up, turn up. Matter of fact, I'ma change my name from the wrong. You can call me Turn Up. Whatever you thinking that you believing, I am. I'm not, I'm not. Unless you thinking that you believing, I am. I'm high, I'm high. Set this world on fire, fire. You can feel the heat. You die for that crown. My I throw my crown on the ground and place it at your feet. While I'm out here trying to get it, make sure all my people leave. I'm never down for the count, and I'll never know defeat. I'm vibing through the city, and these people watching me, but I'm a king without a crown. Transmission sipping, we stay. Yeah. Rent a little late, we stray. Yeah. Come on, my mate, show we ate. I was about nine years old when my daddy got found. New strap around his neck in the attic of the house. New thing that the devil would grill. That's the blood congealed. He kept the weapon concealed. You swear to God, he had gills. Reptilian, cold bloody killer, and his code of fitting look familiar. Say it look like me. Say it look like you. If it look like a felon, then my cousin got two. My brother got one, then my partner got three. I'm trying to explain to these G's, we kings. But a $10 rock turned a bread from queen to a bag of dope. Ain't no more news of king, Lord. I'll bitch my crown at your feet, at your feet. If I don't know what my crown is, whole genealogy full of ideology. Nah, I don't know which crown which. I'm my successor, this robe but something. I'm the reason the king was murdered. I don't know if you know, but I'm the one way, way back in the church still spreading like birds. And you say that you do, that you do. And my crown made it go, made it go. And my daddy is a king, is a king. And I'm right, I really deserve guilt. But the one that was murky died for me and bring a king to his knee. And my crown to your feet, Lord, take all that I got. You know, cross state position, face down on the ground. Like The law just hit that block I'll oh, throw my crown on the ground And place it at your feet While I'm out here trying to get it Make sure all my people leave I'm never down for the count And I'll never know the fee I'm mobbing through the city And these people watching me But I'm a king without a crown
You're in the field with your boy Tweezy, aka KJ5 to the 2. Listen to Track Stars Radio. Yeah! Be careful, they dangerous. Yo, what's good? It's your man Double. City Takers, no fuck music in the building. Right now, you in the field with the track stars, and we in the field getting our hands dirty. You dig? Yeah, shout out to City Takers, man. Um, all right, so my wife uh, came up with a topic a couple weeks ago, and um, the question she had was, how come, well, why does it seem like once you become a Christian, life can tend to get harder for you? 
Like for instance, there was a guy that um, that worked at a restaurant that she went to, and he told her that he used to sell drugs and he used to be able to pay for everything for his family and everything. But he got saved and he decided to give all that stuff up for God. And now he's working at a, a minimum wage restaurant, struggling to feed his kids. And he's like, "Why did my uh, love for God and my sacrifice make my life more difficult than than before?" Uh, what do y'all think about that? <laughs> I think everybody here is struggling. So. Nah, well, I think the issue is that it's a test. You know, um, you you come to Christ. You are expected to take the Bible literally at what it says. Um, implement that in your life. And, um, you know, I always look at it as um, the scripture that talks about rejoice for you partake in the sufferings of, of the Lord Jesus Christ. And like you are ridiculed. And I think the enemy shows us a false picture of life when we're out sinning. You know, everything looks like better. Everything sounds better. Everything feels better. Everything seems easier. But it's not because it's not it's not under the law. It's like you, you're not. It's illegal for us. It's. But it, I just it, think it's a. It's a, a tactic. Of I think enemy. it does feel like, like when you follow Christ, it's harder. It does feel like, but I mean, scripture that come to mind is talking about the narrow way. Like that narrow way, is like, like just narrow. Like you, it's no way. Like. Like the, the, the street that's leading to hell is like big and you can walk down it, you can moonwalk around it, everything. But the narrow way is like you are like literally almost balance beam type walking on it. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's hard because we we gotta one, I think our focus is in a different place. You know what I'm saying? Our focus has to be on God. You know what I mean? Like we have to focus like God, if this is it for me, then Amen. Like this is it. You know what I'm saying? If I would never like thinking about the 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 guy that um, Alfie was talking about, if I never, um, if I if I if this is it for me, then I have to be okay with that. And it's hard to say that. To be honest with you, like I know I know for me personally, like that's hard to say for me right now. If I say where I am right now in my life, um, career wise, and some other things that I think about, like. If I say God is okay, if this is it for me, I'm good. I'm like nah, because you, because a lot of people always have that they want to do more out of their life, and they don't think that coming to Christ is like because you hear different things, and, and me and my wife were talking about this. Like you hear different things, you hear different types of gospel that talks different things. You know what I'm saying? Te- teach different things, and you you kind of like okay, like you know what I mean. I, I know I'm trying to get off topic, but I just I just think sometimes. It is hard. It is very hard for people who, like, you were living that life in your sin in your sin life before you came to Christ, and you gave it up. And then sometimes, I think sometimes God has to purify you to get you to where He really ultimately wants you to go. But I think at the same time, it's just that Joseph thing. Like, I, I think, I think that's just what it is, man. Like, you have to be purified so that. You know, when your time, when that opportunity comes that you really want it to happen, then it, you could be ready for it. Versus like, oh, just you just there, and then you're not qualified to be the person that you're supposed to be. I mean, yes, I definitely feel like it's a test, but at the same time, too, realizing that when you give your life to Christ, like that is the reward. Like Christ is the reward. You being in fellowship with Him for eternity and having access to the father like that's the reward you know money may come success may come fame whatever a family a husband children wife whatever may come but that's not the prize that's not the goal and so i think oftentimes we go through these times um in order for that to be the reminder and in order for us to really walk that out so that when and or if because it may 